Hey guys, my name is Kaya and welcome back to my channel after so, so, so long. Um, I just finished doing all of my Halloween looks for October and I'm not even gonna lie, I'm so glad it's over so I can get back to making videos like I really want to do. But if you have not seen my Halloween looks, go over to my Instagram which is always on the screen when I open up my videos and you guys can see the looks that I did. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys, even though fall started already, it didn't just start today, I want to show you guys a cute little fall makeup tutorial for you guys to do this fall. And even through the winter, that is just so pretty and will look so great on all different skin tones. So if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look right here, keep watching the video. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is a primer. I'm going to use this Touch and Soul primer that I actually got in a BoxyCharm a while ago that I never used. It's called No Problem, which is really cute. It's like no problem, but for your pores. Oh, it's so cool. So you just squeeze it. Oh, it's very liquidy. Okay, so now that my face is all primed, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the foundation. I'm using my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the color D15. Okay, so now that the foundation is all blended out, I'm going to be going in with my Pacifica Concealer in the color AWT. Alright, so now it's time to set the concealer, so I'm going to be using my Buttercup Setting Powder by Sasha. Alright, so now that my concealer is set, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be right back. And if you guys want to see a video on how I do my brows, then I will put the link in the description down below. Alright guys, so I got my eyebrows on now, so now we're going to move into the thumb part of the look, which is the eyeshadow. So when I think of fall, I think of colors like browns, golds, oranges, even like teal colors, like really fall colors that remind me of like the leaves falling outside. So I think for today's look, I'm going to be going with like a neutral brown and gold look. Maybe a little bit of teal. I'm just going to make up this look as I go and have fun and whatever we get in the end will be our fall look. Okay so guys, so I think for today's look, I'm going to be using the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. So I love this palette because you guys can see it has a lot of beautiful colors. It has... Um, the browns and the golds down here, some blues, greens up here, some purples and burgundies there, and then even some shimmer colors over here. So I think this will be the perfect palette to create the fall look. Okay, so first I'm going to um, start in my crease with the color Burkina. Okay guys, so next I'm going to go in with the color Ada, or I don't know how to pronounce it, but this color right here, Ada, and I'm going to put that even lower down, closer to my eyelid. Okay. 
Okay guys, so next I'm going to take the color, oh I can't even see that. I'm gonna take the color Casablanca, which is like a glittery gold color, and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. So I'm gonna do everything how I do in real life. <laughs> so I normally put on my glitter eyeshadows with my finger because I think they apply better and they show up better than if I was to use any kind of brush that I've ever tried. So since I actually do that when I'm doing my makeup off camera, I'm gonna do it on camera too. Okay guys, next I'm going to apply the same color that I applied up here. I'm going to apply it under my eye. Okay guys, next I'm going to do my crease color. And for that I'm going to use this really light champagne shimmery color in the palette called Dahaya. So I'm going to take this color Dahaya and put it right in my um, tear duct. <laughs> I'm also going to take that same shade and put it right under my um, eyebrow. So I looked at the look and I think that I want to put a deeper color around my outer eyelid. So I'm going to go ahead and take this deep berry purple color in the palette called Zobo and I'm going to pop it right in my outer crease. All right, so we are done with the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back out so we can finish the rest of the face. All right guys, so since I do have hooded eyelids, I don't really like to put on eyeliner so much, so I'm gonna skip the eyeliner and move straight to the lashes. So today for lashes, I am going to be using the Ardell Wispies in the style black. <laughs> so for mascara, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Alright, so now that I have my mascara on, the next thing I'm going to be adding is my contour and my blush. So for my contour and blush, I'm going to be using a palette that I have had since the beginning of time, it seems like. You guys can even see that it's like falling apart. This color down here fell out. I forgot what color that was that fell out. Whatever color it was though, I didn't even use it that much, so I didn't even care. But you guys can see that I use my contour the most, and then you can't really tell that much because I go so light-handed on the blush, but I use both of these blushes a lot. And then I'm going to be going in with this bottom blush color right here and I'm gonna just I literally go so light-handed and I just go over my cheeks and I do like it to kind of blend with my contour that's why I don't care that the blush is the brush <laughs> is super fluffy because it's gonna be blending with my contour anyway Sometimes I even like to take it all around my face with a contour too. I know crazy, but that's what I do. And that is how I like it. <laughs> okay, so for today's highlight, I think I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. And the color that I use the most out of here, this bottom one down here, that one is called Lyra. I think that's how you pronounce it, Lyra. It has like gold and pink flecks in it. So I'm going to take my little Real Techniques brush. This is actually the setting brush, but ever since I got this brush, I always use it for highlight, nothing else. So pretty. 
Even though I already put highlight on my brow bone, I'll just go ahead and connect it there just like that. glitter up there too and voila <laughs> okay so now of course the last thing for this look is going to be the lip color I have no idea what I'm gonna use for the lip color but let's see okay so after some long consideration I decided to just do the lip combination that I do almost every single day <laughs> so I'm going to be using this Palladio um, lip liner I have no idea where I got this from but the color it's hard to see. The color is like a burgundy brown color. So I'm gonna be lining my lips with that first. And then I'm going to take this Milani lipstick in the color Pretty Natural in the number 43. And I'm gonna put that all over my lips. And I know it looks really pink, but the gloss I'm about to put over it is gonna tone it down a lot. So then I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. And this is in the color Cedar Later for 945B. So this is what the color looks like right here. All right, and actually since the look still looks pretty pink, I'm gonna go back over with the brown lip liner and bring everything back together how I want. Okay, so I like that a lot better, a lot better. Okay, so now that I have my lips all done, one last thing that I want to do to complete this entire look is I wanna put a color in my waterline. Alright guys, so this is your fall makeup tutorial to follow along to. How do you guys think it turned out? I love this look. I love this lip color that I did with the look. I do this lip color almost every single day and with almost every single look. It's just a nice natural neutral pink and I just love the combination. So this is how it came out. <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I love this fall look. I think it'll be super fun for you guys to follow along. So if you do follow along to this video and you have a picture, send it to me or comment down below if you tried it and how it was for you and what products you used. I think that'll be super fun. And make sure you don't forget to like this video, leave a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching and you're not subscribed already. And also, like I said, go ahead and leave me a comment down below, whatever you want to comment. If you have any of the products that I have, if you've tried this look or a similar look. I think it's a pretty beautiful look that can be used on all different skin tones. So I love this and I think it'll be pretty useful for you guys for this fall. So let me know if you try it. And until next time, thank you so much for watching my video today. And I hope you stick along to watch future videos. Love you guys. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>